All right, so this is for our spring signs, Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. So I'm going to say this one. I'm going to say it. We got a runner. And right now your mood is you're running away from things. You're distancing yourself from the situation almost. Right now you're trying to like... You're dreaming of better, passionate things. You are you have the dream. You want to get it. You're ready to awaken something new within you. However, you are almost restricting yourself from it. Like, you understand the purity of it all. But at the same time, you are pretty much... How would you... How do you say it? Excuse my sneezing cat, by the way. Um you're disciplining yourself in a way that is almost hindering yourself like your hope here is finding something new finding something exciting but there's still that level of restriction with jupiter and capricorn like you're able to build something that you want for society for yourself that's what jupiter and capricorn is the level of expansion so you're expanding but restricting yourself in a level or manner and your fear is almost getting too excited about it like you feel as if maybe this isn't the way to go this isn't how you should do things and with the four of water you might actually just shy away from these ambitions um because you're not really sure what you want to do like it's more of no one's stopping you about it it's just yourself like you are the king of air like he's right back here as well and there is that um battle between uh your freedom and your discipline and restriction and that's what you are going to have to look within yourself for the mercury retrograde and then the end of the year for 2019 so i'm going to pull up a couple more cards to kind of give you a greater scope of things all right so i have to pull a lot of cards to kind of like understand the situation a little bit more so this all has to kind of deal with a message, a message that you had um, received or given and you had thought a lot about it and unex like you either traveled really fast to do it or if not fast enough in order for this message to be received. And in a way with these, with this pile, it's pretty much stating that um the feeling the mode of that message was you were trying to win something they were trying to win something whatever the situation called for it there were quick words nice and steady um to be able to win whatever um situation what the, whatever the situation brought about there was some battle that needed to be won and you or whomever, whatever the situation called for it, it, it pretty much, you did it in order to win, I guess. Whatever the message was, it was done in order to win some point of view, um, overcoming a lot of things, going through family, friends, um, finding your own way of doing things, finding your own mock challenges and feeling as if your way was the correct way. And you had hoped that somehow, I don't know how to, so I'm just going to say you as in the message, not wanting to like put it on anyone. So it, it could go vice versa with whoever um you're dealing with in in this situation so um with travel traveling you wanted to meet someone you wanted to um gain some insight some truth to be revealed but it turned out to reveal something that you didn't expect and 
it left you very frustrated like normally the two of flamingos is conflict resolution the conflict ends but because it's reversed it's it didn't go so well so it's almost like kind of like your hope was to have and enjoy these moments either on your own or by yourself and if you whomever got caught or whatever the situation that makes it feel as if it got caught it was kind of like deer in the headlights like you didn't expect it to happen and you wanted to have a sort of a sort of uh, resolution of like okay well you caught me so here's the message I want to bring in order to um dispel the situation and it didn't work out because again as I said we got a runner and whoever ran um in their own mind might have understood what the situation came about and that is bringing the sender a lot of anxiety they feel as if this is the end of whatever uh the partnership was about it ended it and now there's a lot of worry and anxiety for it and here um we have a lot of hope we have a lot of anxiety but somehow there'll be a level of victory like uh the sender might retry again like in this transition there will be opportunities for new friends new acquaintances um whatever um allows for new people to come your way they're gonna come your way and in that same fashion it'll also almost open new highways to allow the sender to come back and that message will probably get received like you might not have wanted it at first but it's gonna get there your message is gonna it's gonna it'll those quick words might not work anymore because they whatever they had used it didn't work out and now w with the rethinking of every of the situation they might actually like rethink their lives they might read uh, revalue exactly why they wanted to even message you in the first place. They might even, um, they might apologize. They might not. We're going to pull a couple more cards to see what's going to happen. Okay. So, ooh, I have to take a minute to like really, really understand these cards kind of coming through. So, taking yourself out of that situation it's best to move forward with the situation just move forward past it because what you what there needs to be focused on is um stabilizing your life because whatever had happened whoever the runner was they ran for a reason they ran for their stability and their journey whatever journey they're going through they they might not have been able to really accept whatever message came across because they're like we kind of discussed with the air king of air and fire it's um, it's almost like you've, how do I say this? You've, um, you've really thought about the process of that situation and now it's kind of time to just move forward from it. If you were denied, if you were accepted, enjoy it, enjoy the stability that it brought you. If it didn't bring you stability, then it's best to leave it behind. Um, if it is causing you turmoil, definitely reevaluate um, what the situation had brought to you. But don't lose sight of 
what you necessarily want. If it doesn't fall for, um, if it doesn't align to what serves you in your life purpose, then it's now is kind of the time to really like find a mentor, find, um, the person who you trust, who can give you guidance, who can give you what you need, um, whether masculine or feminine, because we also have the empress and she's kind of like the start of creativity. So, um, look for the friends that you need, but with, I believe the three of pepper mills, you really have to be careful on the friends that you ask because you might find out, um, you might find false friends. You might find friends that are actually not, um, aligning themselves to what you necessarily need in your life. And, what you need to really like let yourself really establish is the friends that are truly looking out for you. If they're not, if they're not being critical and if they're not constructively helping you in your life, then those aren't the friends you really need to look for. You, those aren't the friends that you need to ask advice from. You need, um, really need to, um, search for a level of authenticity because with the ace of flamingos um the going into battle just for the sake of battle that's that's not how i believe things should really work it's more of just like the need for necessity um like the things that are necessary you you have to want to gain things for a for betterment and for for mutual benefit is what i should say cuz if it's just for a one-sided benefit then naturally everything is kind of just going to fall to shit and you'll gain a lot of worries and anxieties of like this was only for me you know like a very childish uh, mentality. You really need to understand um, the friends that are coming your way, the messages that you're receiving. And if it is going to pretty much uproot your sense of individuality, your sense of like worth, then you really have to go back to mind over matter. You need strength for yourself and don't, don't think of yourself as the wisest person, you know, because that could also be why you ended up like whomever, how you ended up in this situation that kind of just turned you for a loop. You really got to think about how to let things go to keep going in the journey or to kind of rechange your thinking because there's no there's no crime in changing your mentality it's human nature to um to change your mind when you receive new facts when you receive new um a new perspective so don't don't think that it's a failure or anything like that because in a way it is it is a level of victory being able to change your mindset to change your um philosophies cuz it's going to it's going to happen and i feel the advice i can really give you for the mercury retrograde through um through the cards through spirit with the angels it's um enjoy your stability enjoy um enjoy the creativity that you're outputting because that'll be beneficial to you and that'll be beneficial to really bringing in those authentic people into your life because I think that's 
really what's going to help you moving forward um, past this retrograde and going into the new year. Mm, yeah, and I, I think that's all I really have for you guys. Like, ooh, sp my spring guys, you're gonna, you're gonna need a, you're gonna really need to enjoy your stability. Like, low key, just enjoy it. Just don't even worry about it. Just enjoy what's going on in your life and focus on that. And try not to really focus too much on your material gains. Like, yeah, if you need to, you know, work and stuff like that, you got to do it. That's kind of like, you know, that's kind of what we have to do in this society is like we have to work in order to survive. But don't overwork yourself um, to like the point where you're missing out on all these opportunities and where you feel as if all these anxieties are going to come your way. Enjoy the stability enjoy yourself is what i can really say for you guys all right that's it okay so we pulled out a couple more cards um the sun the empress the f one of the ace of pentacles ten of swords four of wands eight of swords nine of swords and the king of wands so wow excuse my cat um and my other cat yelling, so most apologies. They're attention horrors. So, okay. <laughs> so, let's go outside of the situation that came at hand. The thing that is causing you the most turmoil. If it is causing you some level of turmoil. Go back to your projects create a new project within the scope of what you truly enjoy um enjoy the level of stability if you had previously not accepted not responded or anything if you've like taken yourself away from a situation that no longer serves you enjoy the stability continue moving um forward with um with the journey that you have um, that you've wanted to achieve. Um, if you have advice, if you need advice from anything, go, key point, go to someone you trust, not someone new. Don't, don't go to someone you don't necessarily um, normally, I would say. Don't go to someone that you normally wouldn't want advice from to gain a different perspective go to someone that knows you that understands you to gain that advice someone um with much more level of experience to what you're actually going through and they'll hopefully help you straight out into your journey uh help you slightly navigate uh, a little bit better but you know what you need to do you might have to reevaluate a couple of your decisions, but don't get greedy. Like, like, 